nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So for those of us who are ready for the advanced air mobility revolution that will see Evitol air taxi aircraft available for traveling around congested cities, today was a big day. Eve has for the very first time shown what the cabin of its four passenger Evitol aircraft will be like. For many people, including me, this is the first chance to really understand what it's going to be like to fly in this aircraft. One thing that we did put a lot of focus since of the beginning of this development, it's understand the user needs. How is going to be the boarding, the onboarding, the experience inside. These are very short flights, but still we need to assure that's a great experience for all types of users and users with all types of needs from wheelchair users with some visual imperity, for example, to assure that you have the right way to get in and out. That drove a lot of the decisions on the cabin, an experience that goes beyond the development of the, the cabin, even the right quality of the cabin. You are doing different exercises, like a, a new partnership with TU Delphi to develop the, the right quality and to give feedback for the control laws of the vehicle, assuring a smooth ride. We brought users with all type of feedbacks and needs to experiment on some of our previous mock-ups. This is uh, actually our fifth generation of mock-ups as well, right? So we're bringing them to see how that experience could be to assure that's a very seamless process. That you also assure the, a very timely turnaround. The seats that we're looking at here have sustainability in mind, because there's more to aviation sustainability than just whether the aircraft runs on electricity or fossil fuel. So when you look into sustainability, you look in a very holistic way. You look at every different aspects. Of course, carbon emissions and of course having a 100% electric aircraft helps, but even when the types of materials you can use, uh, that's definitely something you can tackle and leverage a lot of the learnings that Embraer Group has in terms of R&D and looking at different materials. So a few examples we are using in this concept are recycled flip-flops for the flooring. We are using natural cork for sound insulation. We are using natural materials for the seats, either natural fabric like wool and cotton or chrome-free leather or leather substitutes, including things that could come from mushrooms to replace ladder. But this wasn't the only big news from EVE today. They pulled a bit of a surprise on us because the EVE engineering team has actually reconfigured fundamentally the design for the aircraft. Aircrafts, as exciting as they are, they kind of converged to a tube and wing configuration long ago. EVE tells a different story. All types of configurations out there. So the first thing was exactly to understand the difference and understand what the what you should pursue. And we decide for a lift plus cruise configuration some time ago with eight rotors to take off and pushers to move forward and wings to rely on wings to keep it simple, no moving parts. And that's the DNA. And everything you heard about the previous configuration, it's still valid, it's still true. But as part of the development process, we are analyzing different variations of that same configuration. And now we believe we reach a level of maturity that you could disclose the direction we are going. With, uh, compared to what you saw before, it was a canard wing configuration. Now it's a wing and empennage, but still with the eight rotors to take off, they are, they are on the wing, right? But it's important to highlight that's not a change of direction by no means. It's just a natural part of the development process. The plan is that aircraft like this could be ready to start commercial operations by around 2026. That's not far away at all. Eve says that it's already got provisional orders for more than 1,900 of these aircraft. There are roughly a dozen uh, operators and leasing companies and flight booking platforms that say they're going to put this Evatol aircraft in their fleet and make it available to people like you and me in crowded cities around the world.